We just got the new DJI Osmo Pocket and we're giving it an initial trial run, taking a Jeep ride up to American Fork Canyon and gonna do a little photo shoot with Lexi. Yeah, we haven't had the Jeep out in a while, so we're gonna just get a few miles on it and see how it goes. Beautiful day outside. Whoa, Papa girl. Whoa. Gotta get your Jeep legs. It's just her neck. <laughs> Trying. Hey, Papa girl. Watched a lot of reviews of this this new gimbal and camera combination. I'm really hoping it's as good as everyone says it is. I know it's going to have some limitations, but it's so tiny and awesome. And if it's going to make life so much better and easier, we have a current gimbal set up with a, our GoPro and external mic adapters and that stupid external mic box that GoPro makes you buy. And it's all rigged up and it's huge and complicated and a pain. And just, we, we never get it out because it's too much of a hassle. So this thing, you know, it literally slips in your pocket and you hit one button and it's on and you're ready to go. So hopefully it does a good job. We'll find out. Do a quick road noise test here. See how it goes. We're doing about 40 miles an hour in the Jeep, which isn't the quietest thing in the world. And hopefully you can hear me okay. I know it has a front facing mic on it and I just updated the firmware and the firmware is supposed to fix some audio issues. So we'll see if they actually fix them or not. Hopefully this sounds good. Oh, there's Lexi. <laughs> oh, it looks like face tracking is kind of picking her up. She's only awake because we stopped at a stoplight. Oh man, and she's down. <laughs> <laughs> Lexi only lasts a few minutes in the car, it's so funny. Now she's ready to go sound asleep. Do a little gimbal stability test. Bouncing along in the Jeep. My arm kind of extended. Let's see how stable this thing really is. We're at the mouth of American Fork Canyon. Getting ready to head up towards, um, what's the reservoir's name? Tibble Fork. Tibble Fork Reservoir. Should have known that. And just gonna kind of go check out the mountains. It's been a little while since we've been up here. Want to see how the visitor center is coming along? Oh yeah, they're revamping the visitor center. Right now, all the settings are basically on full auto. Got on 4K60 and didn't really play too much with some of the Protune settings. I guess I don't call it Protune, that's a GoPro term, but the professional style settings. So we'll see how the exposure works out and the white balance and all that. Hopefully it looks pretty nice, it's be good. Good sample of shakiness and movement and moving in and out of dark and light areas and trying to hold a pug while I'm doing it. Now you know how I feel. It's usually me over there. Oh wow, the whole visitor center is gone. It's gone the last one. Try a quick shot in flashlight mode. Let's see how that goes. That's basically just holding it out horizontally instead of vertically. You should try it out the window too. Do a quick test out the window. See how the gimbal holds up to the air. Quick test of the vertical mode to see how this works for Instagram stories and other things like that that don't shoot in landscape, they shoot in portrait instead. So the gimbal has this nice feature. You just flip it on its side and it's ready to go. One thing I'm already really liking about this new gimbal is how fast it turns on. Oh, there's sled riding down that big hill. Oh yeah. Just takes a few seconds to turn itself on and it recalibrates itself and gets in position. And then when it's actually already on to restart and stop recording, 
it's almost instantaneous. You hit the button and it's, it's gone. It, it's gone. So it's very impressive so far. I hope the picture quality and everything turns out as good as I think it's going to be. I think DJI may have hit a home run with this. Back into some brighter sunlight. Still in the Jeep, so the camera itself is in the shadows. But the outside has a nice mix of shadows and sunlight. Let's see how this looks. Just coming up over the hill to the Tittle Fork Reservoir. This is our final destination for today because the rest of the roads are closed for the winter. So we'll, oh, it looks like somebody's getting married. Getting pictures up on the dam. I bet that's cold. Oh, more family pictures. It's a very Utah thing to do, to come up into the canyons and get pictures taken. Looks like another wedding. Lots of sled riders over here on the hill. It's a good hill to sled ride down. Man, the reservoir is packed. Oh wow, and the whole reservoir is frozen. <laughs> People are walking on it. Well, and just the um, parking lot is packed. Yeah, I was not expecting so many people to be up here today. <laughs> I was hoping, I was thinking we might be the only ones. Snowmobilers. No other place to come sled riding. It's kind of wild seeing the whole lake frozen. Lexi, what are you doing? What are you doing, Lexi? Yeah, what are you doing? Are you a good girl? Come on, let's go. Come on. Oh, look at you go. Come here. Come here. Come on. Yeah, who's a good girl? So cool to be out here walking on the frozen reservoir. I never would have thought there'd be this much ice up here. I guess it has been cold for quite a while now. Lexi, come here, Papa girl. What are you doing? Come on, Lexi. Lexi, come. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. There you go. Whoa. Look at you. Yeah, look at you go. Can you play in the snow? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Do you want to go for a run? Come on, let's go. Come on. Over here. Over here. Lexi, come. Lexi, go. 